मैं तेरी आंखों में उदासी कभी देख सकता नहीं तुझे खुश मैं रखूंगा सुने मैं तेरे होठो पे खामोशी कभी देख सकता नहीं सारी बातें मैं सुनूंगा सुने Just to dry a tear from your eyes I would say no to the gates of heaven If it meant I left you behind Every time just a sweet surrender Every moment with you a treasure When we're putting our lips together I know I could hold you forever, ever, ever I would ask of you to give our graduands 2023 a round of applause. <laughs> At this point in time, as we start our program, we would like to begin with prayer. I would like to call on stage a past teacher of the Tunapuna Hindu School and resident pundit of the Tunapuna Hindu School, Pandit Sunish Tota Maharaj. Sidharam, everyone. So at this point, I ask each and every one of you to put your hands together and close our eyes. As is our custom, our tradition, we begin every undertaking by offering supplications to Bhagwan, recognizing the presence, the importance, and the impact that the divine has on each and every one of us. And of course, we ask for that guidance that may our proceedings this evening go very smoothly. Hari Yum. Sri Ganesha Yanamaha Sri Saraswatye Namaha Sri Guru Charan Kamalivyu Namaha Pranam Yashir Sadevam Gauri Putram Vinayakam Bhaktavasam Smare Nityam Ayuhu Kamarta Siddhahe Pratamam Vakratundam Chaikadandam Dutiyakam Trutiyam Krishna Pingaksham Gajavakram Chaturtakam Lambhodaram panchamam cha shashtamam vikatam eva cha Saptamam vigna rajendram dhumra varanam tadashtamam Navamam bhala chandram vadashamam tu vinayakam Ekadashim ganapatim dvadasham tu gajananam Om Sri Ganeshaya Namaha Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Thank you very much. We remain standing for formalities. As we continue with the opening of our program, we begin with our national anthem of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Forge from the love of liberty in the fires of hope and prayer with boundless faith in our destiny we solemnly declare side by side we stand islands of the blue caribbean sea this our native land we pledge our lives to thee here every creed and race find an equal place and may god Bless our nation, 
Here every creed and race find an equal place. And may God bless our nation. We put our hands together as we sing the theme song for the Sanatan Dharma Sabha, and we ask our graduates to join in with us as well. Ms. Roshni Yossi. Kahu ik paar hi mitro Sanatan Dharma ki je ho Karo parichar dunia me Sanatan Dharma ki je ho Sanatan Dharma hi sacha जो गाया जिस को भी दुनी लगाओ मन इसी में तुम सनातन धर्म की जे हो कहो एक बार ही मित्रो सनातन धर्म की जे हो सनातन धर्म इस द्वीप में उठाया है महासब ने बदेश महाराज की जे हो सनातन धर्म की जे हो कहो एक बार ही मित्रो सनातन कीजे हो हमारी संस्कृति पालक सनातन धर्म का रक्षक श्री सत्यनारायण महाराज की जे हो सनातन धर्म की जे हो कहो एक बार ही मित्रो सनातन धर्म की जे हो सनातन धर्म की जे हो सनातन धर्म की जे हो थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड Beautiful voice of Ms. Roshni Hussain. At this point in time, I would ask all of you to take a seat. Get yourselves comfortable, members of our head table. As we begin this evening's program, house protocol, our washrooms, it would be to your right. In case of an emergency, you are allowed to exit in an orderly fashion downstairs to the car park on the left or to the extreme right. At this point in time, as we continue with our invocation, we have an invocation dance done by one of the top dancers of Trinidad and Tobago who has been working tremendously hard with a number of schools throughout, especially when it comes to Balvikas he is there always being an inspiration to our youths and he has a beautiful invocation dance for us giving praises to Bhagwan. I present to you none other than Mr. Shaheed. <laughs> Jem jem tananata jem jem tananata kuntari kita tak ku kuntari Jem jem tananata jem jem tananata kuntari kita tak ku kuntari Jem jem tananata jem jem tananata kuntari kita tak ku kuntari Jem jem tananata jem jem tananata kuntari kita tak ku kuntari Jem jem tananata 
ಗಣಪತಿ ಕಿವೆ ಕೈ ಮೋಲು ವಿಘ್ನ ಭಗ್ನ ನಿಮಗ್ನ ಪರಸ ಗುಣ ಗಂ ಗಣಪತಿ ಕಿವೆ ನಾ ಪ್ರಣತುಲು ವಿಘ್ನ ಭಗ್ನ ನಿಮಗ್ನ ಪರಸ ಗುಣ ಗಂ ಗಣಪತಿ ಕಿವೆ ನಾ ಪ್ರಣತುಲು ಗೌ ಗಣಪತಿ ಕಿ ನಾ ಪ್ರಣತುಲು ಗೌ ಗಣಪತಿ ಕಿ ನಾ ಪ್ರಣತುಲು ಗೌ ಗಣಪತಿ ಕಿ ನಾ ಪ್ರಣತುಲು ಆಹ್ವಾನ ಕುಂದಗ ಮಂದಾರ ವಹನೀಯ ಜನ ಬೃಂದ ಹೃದಯಾಲು ಸಂಧಿಚಿ ಆಹ್ವಾನ ಕುಂದಗ ಕಂದರ್ಪ ಜನ ಕುಂಡು ಮುರಳಿ ನಾಲುಂಡು ಆನಂದ ಕಂದಲಿತ ಹೃದಯುಡೈ ಕಂದರ್ಪ ಜನ ಕುಂಡು ಮುರಳಿ ನಾಲುಂಡು ಆನಂದ ಕಂದುಲಿತ ಹೃದಯುಡೈ ನಾ ಮುಂದು ರವಳಿಂಸಗ here by Mr. Shahira Ali of course and we are so blessed to be Hindus we are so blessed to be in a school of, under the SDMS whereby we could start each and every program we can start each and every day of our lives with prayer through various means through mantras through songs and through dance we are so blessed Sitaram to each and every one of you. A pleasant welcome. You all look so beautiful. Today to join in, we celebrate the graduation ceremony of our beautiful children, the graduates of 2023. 
My name is Dalip Dinesh Maharaj, and I'm certainly a proud star and proud of Tunapuna Hindu School, and I'm really glad to be amongst the entire team here today to join in this memorable occasion to share it with you, our students, and to the graduates. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our chairpersons who will graciously take us through this evening's program. Ladies first. Ms. Savitri George Chung is a young, dynamic, and very hard-working teacher at the Tunapuna Hindu School. She is very passionate. She is most loved by her precious students. Ms. Savitri is also skilled in teaching using media and technology. She has worked with the Ministry of Education during the COVID-19 pandemic in teaching students lessons via television. She is indeed a great team player at this institution and certainly we are all so glad to have her with us. Mr. Ryan Ramkisun, he has been working with the Tunapuna Hindu School for many years. He hails from Sangha Grandi and most notable, he is the first teacher to reach in school every morning, often before 7 a.m. Not only is he dedicated to his profe pro profession, sorry, but he is also very talented as he is gifted in music, singing, and sports. Such talent from Sir Ryan undoubtedly makes him a great asset to the Tunapuna Hindu School. Special guests, parents, students, let us get a round of applause as we welcome to the podium Mr. Ryan Ramgisun and Ms. Savitri George Chung. Thank you, Mr. Dilip. Previous speaker, Mr. Shane Haricharan, President General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha Trinidad and Tobago, Pandit Krishna Rambali, School Manager, Mrs. Henny Charan, Representative from the Ministry of Education, Dr. Adish Ramlal, School Supervisor 1, Principal of the Tunapuna Hindu School, Mr. Jeevan Ramdani, President of the Parent Teacher Support Body, Mr. Amarnath Chulhan, Teachers, specially invited guests, parents, graduates, viewers on TV Jagriti. Sitaram and good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Tunapuna Hindu School graduation of 2023. Graduation is a highly anticipated event in the lives of our students and their parents. It is a time when you, the students, look back on your time spent at school and reflect. This year's theme, Destined for Success, is appropriate since we believe that all of you, all of you students, have the potential to excel and are indeed destined to be successful. This is your evening, students. Enjoy the evening, for it will be one of the most memorable occasions of your life. Sitaram everyone and welcome to the SC Tunapuna Hindu School Graduation Ceremony 2023. Graduations are a time when we consider our school over the previous seven years and reflect on it. It is a time for us to rejoice in everything we have accomplished thus far and to look forward to a fresh chapter in our lives. This year's theme, Destined to Success, captures the actual challenges that our graduates have faced over the past few years. But they have still managed to succeed, which is why we are all gathered here today. We are celebrating our graduates tonight. We are all here to honor you. We invite you to listen to the words of wisdom that will be spoken and to give some thought. Do cherish and enjoy every moment of this evening. At this point in time, I'd like to recognize Mr. Shahid Ali. For the past eight years, Mr. Shahid Ali has been the Tunapuna Hindu School's most outstanding dance instructor. Under his guidance, we have won the Balvikas competition twice, coming in second in 2018 and first in 2019. Thank you, Mr. Shahid, for all that you have continued to do to make Tunapuna Hindu School a great success and we look forward to working with you to win many more championships. In I would firstly start with 
our PTSB president, Mr. Amarnath Chulhan. Mr. Amarnath Chulhan, president of the Parent Teacher Support Body, will be our first speaker on this evening program. From since 2016 until present, Mr. Chulhan has served the PTSB's president. He has guided the school into many prosperous ventures and he remains a devoted supporter working with the principal, teachers, and parents to continuously enhance the learning environment for our students. This graduation is extremely excited and important for him as he is not only here as the president of the PTSB, but also as a proud parent of one of our graduates. At this point in time, I would like to call upon Mr. Chulhan to bring greetings on behalf of the Parent Teacher Support Body. Please give a hearty round of applause to our president, Mr. Chulhan. Thank you, Chairpersons. for such uh, of a positive uh, introduction. Feature speaker, Mr. Shane Haitaran, President General of the SDMS, Pandit Krishna Rambali. School Manager, Ms. Henny Charan. Ministry of Education Rep, Dr. Adesh Ramlal. Teachers, Specially invited guests, graduates, viewers of TV Jagriti, Sitaram, good evening and welcome to all of you. This today makes it the fourth year I am privileged to be addressing the graduating class of Tunapuna Hindu School. As president and representative of the parent teacher's body. Closely inclined with the vision of THS are the members of the PTSB. Our continued efforts, hard work, and commitment have manifested into the completion of many projects, such as the infant's play area, the drop off zone, the multi purpose room and repairs conducted to the school. We were also very keenly involved in the many cultural functions held at THS. In support of all these ventures, I extend many thanks to the principal and staff of THS, members of the PTSB, you the parents, co our corporate sponsors, for these ach achievements would not have been possible without your unwavering support. I would like to make special mention of the core group of parents and PTSB members who on a daily basis would volunteer their time morning and evening to ensure that we have a safe entrance that is in North Entra pedestrian entrance to the school. That's a huge effort made by these parents. On a pers personal note, I must thank my wife and daughter for the support they would have provided as I took, took on the task of leading the PTSB. And as stated by the chairpersons, some parents, including myself, would be moving on since our kids are graduating this year. But I'm sure the PTSB would continue to grow in its function as we leave and charge a much experienced and committed team. In recognition of our PTSB, I would like the members to stand and be acknowledged, please. And. Uh, I invite you all to give them a hearty round of applause for the hard work, commitment, and dedication they would have done over the last seven years. Thank you all. In shifting my attention now 
to the graduating class, I would like to recognize our school principal, Mr. Ramnani, for the inspirational leadership he would have provided to the teaching, teachers and staff of THS, making it a well-rounded and preferred learning institution. And this by itself would have been reflected by the number of persons trying to get into the school this year. On behalf of the Parent Teacher Support Body, I would like to con congratulate the class of 2023 for the achievement made in completing this phase of your development and wish you continued success. I also say thanks to the entire THS team for making this achievement possible, especially the standard five teachers, which would be Ms. Donna Lachman, Sir Vijay Singh, and Sir Amit Singh. For teaching, guiding, and providing support to our children. And a note to the parents as well, and other family members who would have stood by these students, helping them to get here today. This is your day to be proud and celebrate as well. Graduates, as you move on to your new school environment, do not be afraid to ask questions, give answers at that time, whatever comes to mind, get involved in different sporting activities or academics, for you would not know your full potential until you try. Each time something does not work out, you should use the lessons learned and transform your actions into success the next time around. And reflecting on a advice that um, one of the chairpersons would have given, a lot of time and energy would have gone into our speakers and the preparation that they would have done to impart some learning to you this afternoon. And when you leave here today, leave with one positive thought, something that you believe will take you into the future of your academic achievements. So in closing, and in line with this year's team, destined for success, I leave you with a the, with the quote, stay focused, be persistent, and you would achieve. Thank you all, and have a good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Chulhan. Our next speaker has been manager of our school for a number of years. Her expertise and experience in business has certainly helped us in managing the Tunapuna Hindu School. We always look forward to having her present at our functions and certainly love her motherly messages to staff and students. Her generosity knows no bounds when it comes to students of the Tunapuna Hindu School, a trait that is dearly appreciated. It gives me great pleasure to welcome our manager, Mrs. Henny Charon, to bring greetings to us on this momentous occasion. Let's welcome her with a lusty round of applause. Mrs. Charon. so well so you are so quiet you could smile you are not smiling and you are in such a beautiful and beautiful beautiful outfit so you must smile now so smile all of you oh. a pleasant evening to all today it is with a great sense of pride and optimism and unrelenting hope for a bright future um, for Trinidad and Tobago that I offer my sincere congratulations to the graduating, um, the graduating class of 2023 here at the Tunapuna Hindu School. Only recently, the world was released from the deadly clutches of the COVID-19 pa pandemic, which devastated many countries throughout the world. 
Everything we knew and understood about our way of life seemed to have changed overnight, and we were now expected to live our lives in accordance with the term we heard daily, which was the new normal. Capital New Normal. For us, the education system, a difficult decision, had to be taken to ensure the safety of our teachers and students. As the contingency, we reverted to a system of online schooling, whereby the, tra the, the transition from student to teacher, students, and parents was very difficult. Teachers scrambled to learn and establish those online platforms. The entire process was new and in some cases in, in, in some cases intimidating. Extra time um, in, uh, um, in, intimidating, yeah. My dear students, one of the greatest powers you have in you is the ability to manage your mental health. All of us face different situations, whether at home or in school, which made us experience various emotions. When we are overcome with emotions that make us ha unhappy, sad, or angry, it is because we are feeling at ease. And um, no, it is important that we find positive ways to express ourselves so that we are left feeling at ease and peaceful. Speaking to someone who may be able to help you understand and navigate your emotions in, very norm, in a very normal way. Students now understand that there are professional people, including school counselors, who are there for you when you need help. And I want all of you graduates here today to make a promise to me, your parents, and most importantly, yourself, that, would you, uh, would, that you would say something if you feel emotionally overwhelmed. I urge you to also say something if you or your friends or schoolmates or, 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 need, or your, your schoolmates need help. Healthy minds lead to healthy lives, and so we must guard our mental health closely. I thank you all very, very much for being here this, after, this morning. I did not want to say too much because it's a long day. It, it'll be a long evening, and um, I wish all of you all the best, and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Henny Charan, for the, that inspirational greetings to our students. At this point in time, I would like to call upon Dr. Adesh Ramlal, our school supervisor one, to bring greetings on the behalf of the Ministry of Education. Let's welcome him on stage with a lusty round of applause. Thank you very much. Pandit Krishna Rambali, President General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Pandit Sunish Tota Maharaj, other pundits present here this evening, Mrs. Henny Charan, school manager, Mr. Shane Haricharan, keynote speaker, Mr. Jiwan Ramdini, principal of the esteemed Tunapuna Hindu School, competent and diligent staff, including ancillary staff, business operations assistants, all members of staff at that institution, very much diligent and indeed committed, Mr. Amarnath Chilchan, PTSB president, parents, other stakeholders, well-wishers, and of course, I've saved the best for last, children of the graduating class of 2023. Round of applause for the children. They are the stars this afternoon. Sitaramol, Sitaramol. I think it's indeed a privilege and certainly a pleasure to bring greetings to all of you in this milestone event for you, the graduating class of 2023. Firstly, I want to say thank you to the SDMS Board of Education 
through the provision of transformative leadership for all principals of the SDMS, all teachers of the SDMS. And here I'm singling out the Tunapuna Hindu School. I'm a product of the SDMS, past teacher and principal for nine years. So I know monthly meetings, constantly building the capacity and capability of each and every principal, each and every teacher. Through um, the executive members of the SDMS uh, and through transformative leadership, the board ensures that there is equity and social inclusion for each and every child at the Tunapuna Hindu School. Round of applause for the board, please. So, Mr. the PTSB president mentioned the principal as an inspirational leader. I want to add Mr. Jiwan Ramdani as a visionary leader. When we look at the development, physical development, the physical infrastructure of the school and all the added value, including the swimming pool, that's just one aspect of it. The school is a high-performing school. So at the level of the academics, they are doing well. Tunapuna Hindu School, uh, they, in terms of the SCA 2022 score, they have scored way above the national average, way above the St. George East Education District average. Round of applause for that school, please, for your school. And when we look at the correlates of an effective school, Tunapuna Hindu School matches every single correlate. High expectations for student success from infant one to standard five. You have strong instructional leadership from the principal, from the vice principal, from the middle managers of the school. There is a clear and focused vision and mission the principal and staff ensures it's a board school that the secular education and sacred education go hand in hand. There are lots of opportunities for student learning, academics, co-curricular, and extracurricular. At Tunapuna Hindu School, there is frequent monitoring of student progress. There's also a safe and orderly environment. You also have positive homeschool relations. You also have positive strategic stakeholder involvement. I could go on and on. Mrs. Sharon made the point. It's indeed a long evening. So congratulations again to principal, staff, and I want to add parents, because without you, parental involvement, parental engagement, Right, you add value to the life of the school. Round of applause here again for principal, staff, parents, stakeholders. <laughs> to the parents of the graduating class of 2023, I just want to remind you, I know you know, as your children move on to secondary school, now is not the time to let your guards down. You know you cared for them, you pushed them through preschool holding their hands, checking their books every day from infant one to standard five. Parents, are you in agreement? I'm not hearing. Right, similarly, when they move on, form one, you have to check their books every day. Check their bags every day. You have to know who their friends are. You have to know who the parents of their friends are and make communication with them. Know that it well. Mainly because in the secondary school, whereas in Tunapuna Hindu, they were sheltered. At the secondary level, you have peer pressure. Both positive and negative peer pressure. And more times, it's the negative ones that would lead to a probably slightly different direction. So monitor your children. To the graduating class of 2023, I just want to remind you, as you move on to secondary school, you have to set your goals. When I look at your theme today, destined for success, definitely you could get it. But you have to work for it. All in agreement? Repeat after me. Success comes through hard work. Add one more. 
hard work and commitment. Repeat that for me. Success comes through hard work and commitment. And we could add on dedication there too. So you could write it down when you go home. I just want to remind you that as you move on to secondary school, you have to set goals. Short-term goals, medium-term goals, long-term goals. From as early as end of term one, form one, you would know your liking, your preferences, whether it's sciences, whether it's business, and it could change at the, at the end of the form three level, but keep in mind form four, you have to choose your subjects. You want full certification at the end of form five as you move on to Cape, and you look for university level success. So I just want to remind you, set your goals, um, all your goals and your parents will aid you in this. As I said, I could say more, but with these few words, it's indeed a privilege, again, to bring greetings this afternoon. And I say Sita Ram and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ramlal SS1 for our school. I would like to thank him for his words of wisdom and I'd also like to add to that. And I quote the Ramayan, Ramayan teachers. Only the timid and the weak leave things to destiny, but the strong and the self-confidence never bank on destiny or luck. As we always say, labor reaps its own reward. Hard work will pay off. And at this time, I would like to invite Mr. Kumar Sivnarayan, a multi-talented musician, to grace the stage with his presence and perform for us this evening. Let's welcome Mr. Kumar Srinarayan with a hearty round of applause. Hi, good evening, everybody. How's everyone doing this afternoon? We having a good time so far? When I say hip, hip, you say hooray. Hip, hip! It's a, congrat it's a congratulations to all his kids today. We wish you all the best, all the happiness, all the success. To everybody here, we're going to have a good time this evening. All right, you all show the Mr. Nice vibes. Kumar Srinarayan to sing a song for everyone. Feel free to clap and sing if you know the song, all right? Kids, it's a celebration time today, all right? Congratulations again. DJ, let's take it away. So clap, it's all about love. Love your mommy, love your daddy, all right? Yeah, and the teachers too, all right? Tera naam kiya, maine apna jaha. Tera naam kiya, ye dil ye dil, ye dil ye dil. Tera naam kiya, ye dil ye dil, ye dil ye dil. Tera naam kiya. Aur dil ichu meri ya, meri naam ke diya. Ye dil ye decide. What is your name? My name is Kia. Yeh dil, yeh dil, yeh dil, yeh dil. Your name is Kia. Hey, hey, hey. Shall we go to the stage today? Congratulations again. मेरे पायल की चंचन तुमसे मेरे साजन मेरा सासे मेरा तन मन तुमसे मेरे साजन तुमसे तेरे तन तुमसे जीवन तुमसे ही दिल का बंधन और दली चुनेरिया मेरी नाम के दिया और दली चुनेरिया मेरी नाम के दिया ये दिल ये दिल ये दिल ये दिल तेरा नाम Sing on the side, do the clap. Go over singers, down that table. Don't clap and have a good time today. Oh, such a sour and a mera, terrible sajan. 
भूलो समय के ना मेरा तेरे लिए साजन प्यार में बहकना मेरा तेरे लिए साजन तुमसे दर्गन तुमसे जीवन तुमसे ही दिल का बंधन और दिल्ली चुनरिया मेरी नाम कह दिया और दिल्ली चुनरिया मेरी नाम कह दिया ये दिल ये दिल ये दिल ये दिल तेरा नाम किया Thank you, Mr. Sunarain. Let's give Mr. Sunarain another round of applause for that energetic performance. I think you were successful in getting our students relaxed. Some of them were a bit tense this evening, and I saw some of them loosening up with that song. At this time in our program, we have the first of our appreciation awards. I would like to invite Mrs. Sumitra Chidi Pitye to the stage to take us through this segment. Mrs. Maraj has been serving Tunipuna Hindu School for the past seven years. She has always been available and willing to use her creative ability to produce the highest quality designs for us. She has really been patient and understanding about our numerous requests, frequent changes, and catered to requests at short notice. Even though we are losing our graphic artists, as her son is graduating, she has already pledged to continue to serve as diligently in the future. This I assure, assure you, we will not refuse. We thank you and want to share this with you. I quote, There is no doubt that creativity is the most important human resource of all. Without creativity, there would be no progress, and we would be forever repeating the same pattern. To highlight her creativity, Take a look at our graduating program, the banner, the invitation cards. These are just a few examples of our amazing work. We thank you, Miss Mandy Miraj. Mindy Miraj. And it, we'd like you to stay. One more. We will welcome Mr. Sunny Ramuta. Time is a creative thing. To say I don't have time is to say I don't want to. Mr. Ramuta has continuously devoted his time and effort to serve, to ensure the safety of all students on a daily basis. He, together with his team, ensured the highway gates was open on mornings and evenings to allow entry into the compound from the walkover on the highway. We, the students, parents, and staff, are extremely grateful for your continuous service provided free of charge by him. May Bhagwan bless you richly. Thank you, Ms. J.D. And let's give a hearty round of applause to those parents. Without them, we would not have been able to have all these lovely things we have at Tunapuna Hindu School. This evening, I feel very honored to speak about this esteemed person, Mr. Ajay Kandawal. Mr. Ajay Kandawal was born in India. He attended high school and lived in Agra with a large extended family. He earned an A plus gold medal and a bachelor's from Birla College, Pilani. He then continued on to York University in Toronto, where he earned an honors master's degree in mathematics. 
here he first met his beautiful Trinidad Tobago born wife, Sita. They later got married, had two children, and now blessed with six grandchildren. If you didn't already know Mr. Kandawal, Mr. Kandawal is D. Mr. Kandawal. The person who made the Tunapuna Hindu School the envy, and I stress envy, of all schools in Trinidad and Tobago. And give him a round of applause for that. <laughs> Mr. Kandawal didn't stop there though, obviously not. On June 6, 2022, the Ganesh Murti was installed on our lovely water fountain in front of our school compound, which was also funded by Mr. Kandawal. Mr. Kandawal overstepped the mark by asking our students what else they wanted while interacting with them. With a surprise, the students excitedly shouted, AC please. He replied, and I quote him, all you want air condition? No problem. I'll see to it that you get air condition. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly stand here today to tell you all three departments at the Tunapuna Hindu School have air conditioning today. <laughs> Mr. Kandawal, I want to reassure you that your time, money, and effort were not in vain because we intend to maintain and utilize the lovely facilities you have created for us to the fullest extent possible. With regards to swimming, crickets, and other sporting endeavors, we will do everything in our power to support the goals you have for our school. But at the same time, we will continue to uphold our academic, religious, and cultural upbringing at this institution. On behalf of the Tunapuna Hindu School students, staff, parents, and all other SDMS schools, we express our sincerest gratitude to you and your family for selecting the Tsunapuna Hindu School and changing the meaning of adopting a school. With that being said, please give Mr. Ajay Kandawal a last round of applause as we welcome to the podium. Thank you. Graduating students, parents, teachers, members of the head table, ladies and gentlemen, the most important people today are the students graduating. And like somebody else said, smile. You have your whole life ahead of you. Your teachers have worked very hard to prepare you for the future. Right? Now, like most students, you will grow up, meet success, meet your goals that you have set. Never forget the hard work done done by your teachers. And the most important people in your life would always be your parents. Right? I'll tell you a story. My son went to Hillview College and he tells me up to today, Daddy, you just got lucky. What do you mean I got lucky? He said, because you didn't keep an eye on me and you still I still came out okay, because the stories he told me about that college really are scary. So children, you are graduating, going to secondary school. That's no longer a primary school, you know. You will meet all kinds of people, all kinds of temptations. Now, one temptation you must always guard against is drugs. They are very common in, not just in Trinidad, all over the world. Once you go on that route, everything finished. All your dreams, all your parents' dreams, all gone to waste. So mark my words, always remember. But I didn't tell my son, I didn't keep an eye on you, but your mother did. She wouldn't, he would say, I'm going to play basketball in UE. And he would come home late. But he didn't know his mother will go to check whether he's really playing or not, right? So, parents, I must congratulate you for what your efforts you have put in in making these children and graduate. Look at them, smiling, radiant, 
and what not. Right? So remember my words and off to the future. Enjoy your rest of your life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kandalwal. Our next speaker is a former principal of the Monroe Road Hindu School and is currently the President General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha. He is always available to lend guidance to schools on educational matters. Please welcome to the podium with a lusty round of applause, Pandit Krishna Rambali. Uh, Sitaram everyone, and a pleasant good evening. Our chair, lady and sir, Principal of the Tanapuna Hindu School, Mr. Jiwan Ramdani. And let me recognize his wife, Mrs. Nalini Ramdani, Vice Principal of the Eldorado North Hindu School. Dr. Adesh Ramlal, School Supervisor, St. George. School Supervisor, one, St. George. Mrs. Harry Henny Charan, manager of the Tanapuna Hindu School, and Mr. Chulhan of the Peran Body. Mr. Ajay Kandawal, I cannot leave him out now after hearing all these nice things about him and Sita Kandawal. I want to recognize Mr. Indar Ramnath and his Dulahin. Pandit Sunesh, all you wonderful parents, specially invited guests, our graduating class. So much has been said already, and I think it will be a lot of repetition now. Mr. Adesh, or Dr. Adesh, you know, went into my speech. <laughs> And I will not be surprised, he started his teaching career with me at the Monroe Road Hindu School. There are many things to say, and I will come to you, the graduating class, at the end. But firstly, Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha schools have been performing excellent over the years. And lots of people wonder why this is happening. There are many reasons I'm not going to go into it, but let me just tell you that all our schools are doing excellent. But today we're celebrating with Tanapuna Hindu School. And sometimes I feel sorry, not envy, I feel sorry for Mr. Ramdani to manage a compound, a complex as the Tanapuna Hindu School. Mr. Ramdani, I want to commend you and to ask you to continue in that vein. He does a tremendous amount of work. And it's not only in the school. We hold him responsible outside of the school hours for lots of things. He has the strength, the watch his size, he's good enough so he could take the pressure. <laughs> and I too would like to commend here today Ajay Kandawal and Sita Kandawal. What they have done, you get one in 25 million to do that. They have done marvelously. And Ms. Chung, they did not stop at Tanapuna Hindu School. They have spread their arms at the Vishnu Boys College. So we want to really commend and we look forward for philanthropists of his caliber to assist the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha. I could tell you here now, lots of people believe the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha collects and they ask what grant you get. It doesn't come so and we do not get grant. I can't tell you when last we got a grant. We got one, yes, I went and collected $60,000. 
And we had four celebrations. And the smallest one cost more than $25,000, Mr. Jiwan. So you understand. So we need the support of people outside. I want to commend Mr. Indar Ramnath. Some people will not know him. But Tanapuna Hindu School became, you know, a big and a person who was partly responsible for the management. Mr. Indar did that. Whenever I go there, I said, I can't remember if he told me he has resigned his job and he is there permanently. So thank you, Mr. Indar and Mrs. Indar for allowing him all that time. To you, the parents, I don't want to say much to you. You have heard from all the speakers. Your task now begins. Stick to it. It never ends. I always tell people when you get married, it is not for enjoyment. It is to look after children now. Always remember that it is not for enjoyment. Don't get young now after you're married. It should be that earlier. Now is the time to look after all those children you bring forward. Because they need you and they need you all the time. They will grow into big men and they still need you. So to you, the graduates, many of you would have, you made your first choice schools and it, if I did not go here, I will go there. And you in your mind would have already have a vision of what that school is like. Some of you may have passed and have looked at it already. So you know what your secondary school is. But you are moving out where you were sheltered. You are moving out of familiarity. Everything around you, you knew about it. You see the same thing every day. And you had the same people, if you fell down, to look after you. When you move into secondary schools, that will no longer be so. If it's one thing that is constant, they say it is change. So secondary life is definitely going to be a change from the primary life. The challenges, I said, will be great. Mr. Kandawal mentioned it. You will have to be really focused. You must be that shining light in your school. You must be the beacon. You must be the person making the changes. Others must look up to you and follow you. That's what you have to be. The righteous part, the good part, is always the difficult one to follow. And you will always have the advice of others, let us do this. But you have the resources to make the right choices. You, have, you may not realize it, it's only when you get into the secondary school you will realize all the life skills that you have learned at Tanapuna Hindu. Now you will have to put it into practice. And you will make the right choices. Don't let anyone make choices for you. That's your job. And I know you can do it well. Let me remind you of something. When we get into secondary school, we forget easily. You have mentors. Do not, you have difficulties, you are not alone. Firstly, you have your parents, you have your teachers, you have uncles, you have aunts, you have your old school, you have Tanakuna Hindu school that you can come back to your teachers. If ever there is difficulty, you can turn to these people. 
Do not sit with it and allow it to burden you and your studies will falter. No. Do not be ashamed or afraid to speak with your parents and tell them as it is. Any difficulty, always remember that. Remember your uh, memories of primary school will be the best memories, you know. You participated in Balvikas. When you grow older and you sit down and you reminisce, you will be smiling and everybody will want to know well, what is happening to you. But you will remember those days that you went on the stage and some of the activities you took part in and you will be smiling at it. The best days are your school days, and I say the best days are your primary school days. Enjoy it. I am certain you have enjoyed it. Choose your friends wisely, I want to repeat. And I want to add one more to the, Mr. Kandawal said, parents contact the friends of your children, parents. I have another view on that. Once you know who the parent is, you may tell the child, that's a friend you do not keep. In this life, you have to be firm and straight. Yes or no? No. Get that very clear. Children, you got to be humble, you got to be kind. Don't forget those simple words. Okay? I want to wish you all the best. I know you are capable of achieving success. Do not let failure at any time. We all fall down along the way. We get up and we move again. The possibility exists that you can not be so successful in a particular subject. That doesn't mean you have failed. That is a note for you to do more work. So I say congratulations on your seven years of hard work and I know you are going to do very well when you get into your secondary schools. Because remember, I said familiarity. From the time the results are published, you will be separated. Friends going to Hillview, friend going to Lachmi Girls, friend going to Tanapuna Secondary. You will not be together. But you will still be friends. So best wishes and uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen. Radio and TV Jagriti. I always leave these gentlemen out. I saw Josh, Vimal and Vivek. Continue their good work. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rambali. Your words of wisdom are always appreciated. The principal's report is the next item on our program. Our principal, Mr. Jiwan Ramdani, has over 30 years of combined experience in the field of education as a teacher and school administrator. He serves on numerous boards, including the Education Board of Management of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, the Association of Denominational School Boards, Assistant Secretary of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Mahasabha Scout Association. He is the Sports Committee Manager of the Mahasabha, Manager of the Lachmi Narayan Bhakti Mandali that's located on the compound of the Tunapuna Hindu School, Managing Director of the Kandalwal Swimming Complex, and he is also the Director of Radio and TV Jagriti. The Tunapuna Hindu School is successfully led by Mr. Ramdani, who has transformed the school into a top-tier educational institution. His commitment, vision, and resilience in the face of all difficulties serve as an inspiration to his staff and students. I'd like to welcome to the podium our esteemed and dynamic principal, Mr. Jiwan Ramdani. Please welcome him with a round of applause. Thank you very much, 
Mr. Chairman, and I will personally give you a day off on Monday for that welcome. <laughs> Picture speaker, Mr. Shane Haricharan, former student of the Tunapuna Hindu School, President General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Pandit Krishna Rambali and his Dharampatni, Pandit Sunesh Tota Maharaj and his Dharampatni, School Supervisor 1, Dr. Adesh Ramalal, Manager of the Tunapune Hindu School, Mrs. Henny Charan, President of the PTSB, Mr. Amarna Chulhan, Mr. and Mrs. Ajay Kandawal, Mr. and Mrs. Ramnath, Mrs. Nalini Ramdani, specially invited guests, the wonderful staff of the Tunapuna Hindu School, parents, graduating class of 2023, viewers on TV Jagrati, a pleasant Sitaram. Graduation, a word we have not used or a term we have not heard of frequently since 2019. Due to the pandemic, we have not had a physical graduation since June of 2019. While attempts were made for virtual graduations, we were indeed limited in what we could have achieved due to obvious reasons. Allow me to personally apologize to the parents and students of the class of 2020, 2021, and 2022, as we were unable to facilitate a grand graduation as we know it to be today. Class of 2023, you are indeed the envy of many, I can tell you. There are three year bodies looking at you presently, and they wish they were sitting where you are sitting. So you are very special, and I hope you understand that today. Today, I stand as the proud principal of one of the most prestigious primary schools in Trinidad and Tobago. If I am to present the traditional principal's report of the school from our last graduation to present, I will certainly put some of you to sleep, and I may even have you here until midnight. So I will try to sum up our experiences from 2019 to 2023 as I highlight the numerous achievements and successes of the Tunapuna Hindu School. Due to the pandemic, the Tunapuna Hindu School, or during the pandemic, we were able to easily transition to the online learning due to the diligence, hard work, and commitment of every member of staff. However, they could not have achieved this without the assistance of the parents, the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, and the Ministry of Education. I am sure some of you students here and even staff members, you get totally disturbed when you hear words like synchronous, asynchronous, and some of the other terminologies. I know when we use them sometimes I see the different faces. Fortunately, I'm not seeing it tonight. Tunapune Hindu School, I can say, did all possible as we led the way in online schooling with the creation of our very own platform and domain to allow for the safety and efficiency of online learning. All these efforts and experiences were to ensure that there were minimum learning loss during that online period. While the COVID-19 pandemic would have created havoc within the education system worldwide, I can safely say we at Tunapuna Hindu School were able to make the most of it and in fact, when we re reopened physically, we still continued with some of the technology and methodology learned during that most trying time. In the area of academics, as mentioned by Dr. Ramlal, Tunapuna Hindu School continues to excel, as is proof in our continuous excellent performance 
in SEA over the years. We, on a yearly basis, provide, produce over 75 to 80 percent of our students being placed in seven years schools, and not just seven years schools, but what we refer to as the prestigious secondary schools in the country. Our students leave to Napuna Hindu School and continue to build on the foundation that they would have captured at the institution. They carry on in CSEC and CAPE by producing national scholarship winners, as you would see in our feature speaker today. Education is more than imparting knowledge and developing thinking and working skills. It plays an important role in the building of the character of a person. And I am very proud of some of the introduction of our various educational and religious initiatives. This has had great success as it sets the tone of the school and put both teachers and students in the right frame of mind as we continuously strive to enhance and develop the fullest potential at Tunapuna Hindu School. And I want to commend Pandit Sunesh for starting off with us, with our Monday Hawan. And so I want to assure you, even though you are no longer with us, we have capable persons continuing what you would have started at this school. In the area of culture and religion, the school continues to improve in all performances in the annual Bal Vikas Festival. This year, we participated in all compulsory and non-compulsory categories. While the result did not reflect the efforts of the teachers and students, we are indeed proud of our performance and we do look forward to impressing the judges next year. We must make special mention of our Ramayan quiz students, and I know they are graduating here today, and also our Hindi students, as well as they would have performed exceptionally well and reached the finals of the Balvi cast of 2023. Let's give them a round of applause. In the area of sports, the school continues to strive towards giving our pupils an opportunity for their holistic development. We are now seeing some very promising athletes. The introduction of cricket coaching for both boys and girls have already shown some of our participating students in national competitions. We must also take pride and congratulate our boys team who participated in the block up competition in 2023 reaching the semi-finals. We will hear more about that shortly. We must also pay tribute to our table tennis players as they represent us at the school district levels and some even moving on to national level. With the opening of the Kandawal Swimming Complex, we are hoping that in the not too distant future, we may see top swimmers coming from the Tunapuna Hindu School or from the Kandawal Swimming Complex team. Mr. Kandawal, I want to tell you that we are already witnessing the success of the cricket net and the cricket pitch, having our boys done exceptionally well in cricket in 2023. To our PTSB, we have had one of the most vibrant and hardworking PTSB. And as we all know, parent teacher-school relationship is vital for the success of any institution. Unfortunately, we are losing many of our stalwarts, including our president, as they are moving on to secondary schools. However, because of the dynamic leadership and the way Mr. Amarnath would have dealt with these ladies, and I'm saying ladies because mostly ladies, together with a few gentlemen, I am sure he would have put succession in place and we will certainly be seeing a new group of members of the PTSB taking over from the hard work and dedication. I know Mr. Amarnath would have asked you all to stand earlier on, and I want to ask everyone to give the members of the PTSB executive a special round of applause. <clears throat> One of our major achievements of the Tunapuna Hindu School is the infrastructural development that took place from 2020 to present. We were able to build and complete an entire toilet block for students, 
and upgrade washroom facilities for staff. And I must say this was done during COVID, during the pandemic when everybody was at home, workers continued working. And this was done through the kind courtesy of Republic Bank Limited and also, again, our PTSB. So I want to congratulate these two groups for helping us so that our students could benefit from new washroom facilities. The construction of the Kandawal Swimming Complex, the upgrade of our car park facility, the building of our cricket pitch and net, the upgrade of our playground, the beautiful landscaping, the building of our fountain and installation of our Lord Ganesh Murti, all of these were funded and built courtesy Mr. and Mrs. Ajay Kandawal and managed by Mr. Indar Ramnath. And I want to say, when I mentioned that to someone recently, they say, all that? Yes, all that. So a special round of applause to these gentlemen and <laughs> Mrs. Sita Kandawal. Words cannot express the tremendous gratitude we owe you and the persons for ensuring that we are the envy of all primary schools because we have one of the best primary schools in Trinidad and Tobago. And if all that, as I mentioned, was not enough, as our chairperson mentioned, on June the 6th, 2022, Mr. Kandawal visited the school and asked the student body what they wanted. And I would like to ask Santana to stand. Where is Santana? Is he here? Santana, stand. This is the young man who is responsible for getting Mr. Kandawal to air condition, air condition the school. Let's give him a round of applause. And Santana, I did not tell you to tell Mr. Kandawal that, right? Right, good. So thank you very much. At that moment, it sounded like wishful thinking. I remember when Santana went to the stage and said he wanted that. I thought it was wishful thinking. But as promised on the 6th of June, by the beginning of July, we were sourcing air-conditioned units and preparing for installation while I was out of the country. I remember Mr. Kandawal wanting this project to be completed, even though I told him I was out of the country. I, I wouldn't say how he said it, but he wanted to make sure it was done. This time around, he was able to convince his many friends, his family, and business acquaintances to contribute towards the AC of the school. This, sir, uh, I assure you, is most beneficial towards the success of our educational pursuits as we are now the choice of many as we are dealing with a long waiting list of students to enter the school. Dr. Ramlal would confirm that. A special thank you again, sir. I cannot forget that none of this that I am boasting proudly about of Tunapuna Hindu School would have been possible had it not been for the vision of the late Sri Satnarayan Maharaj. And I know the initial conversation with Mr. Kandawal took place with Mr. Satnarayan Maharaj. So I cannot forget him, and I cannot forget the continuance of this project under our new Secretary General, Mr. Vijay Maharaj and Pandit Krishna Rambali, who willingly worked with the executive of the SDMS to ensure that we benefit from all the donations of Mr. and Mrs. Kandawal. Thank you all for your support to religion and education and having the faith and trust in me and placing me at this wonderful institution. To the Ministry of Education, we continue to work together in ensuring the vision of the ministry and the vision of Tunapuna Hindu School are both met. Thank you to the supervisory staff of the St. George East for always having an input at the Tunapuna Hindu. To my staff, and I'm looking in this direction because they are all seated here, none of this would have been possible had it not been for your commitment and dedication. 
I can boast of having some of the best teachers at the school. Your continued support and dedication all aid in propelling this school to higher heights. Your presence here tonight after a day of school on the night before a long weekend is enough to speak about your commitment and your dedication, not to me, but to the success of Tunapuna Hindu School over the years. A round of applause for my staff. Thank you all to the members of my office staff, my on-the-job trainees, my ancillary staff. You all are one in a million, and you make the truth in the saying, THS is best. Yeah. <laughs> to you, the graduating class of 2023, you have ended a very important phase of your life, but your journey has just begun. Getting to the school of your choice is only the start. You would have heard that from many of the speakers before me. You must continue to work hard to taste success. And as our team say, destined for success. I have worked with some of you, and I know that you have true potential, but you have to continue to work hard. Even if you didn't get the school of your choice, remember to continue to strive for excellence and success will surely come your way. Pay attention to the team of today's graduation as I want to leave you with the words of Eleanor Roosevelt and tell you, and I quote, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of the dreams. End quote. Thank you, and Sitaram. Thank you, Pa, a.k.a. Mr. Ramdani for those dynamic words of wisdom and thank you sir for being an exceptional leader to the THS. Ladies and gentlemen, give, please give him another round of applause. One of the most significant aspects of this evening's program for each of our graduates is the next item. These students meticulously prepared for the SE exam as well as for this evening ceremony by their hard working dedicated teachers, Ms. Donna Lachman, Mr. Meet Singh, and Mr. Vijay Raghunan Singh. Ladies and gentlemen, without these teachers, these students who would not have been here today, please give them a lusty round of applause. I would like to invite Ms. Donna, one of our Standard 5 teachers on stage for the distribution of the certificates. Sit around everyone. I'll now invite Mr. Chulhan to assist us in the distribution. I'll be the Ali. Shiva Shiva Bulal. Darian Bechu Jada Benjamin Avinash Budram Samara Bruce Rayan Budri, Zavi Chandi, Arya Chulan, Thank you, Mr. Chulan. Mrs. Charan, can you assist us in the next batch? Mm -hmm. 
Ashley Dandred. Cristiano Ducaran. Anastasia Francis. Raquel May Francis. Joseph George. Lansida Geoasing. Ricardo Gonzalez. Vivek Gopal. Abhishek Gopi. Brianna Hines. Saki Hope Damian Jagnarine Thank you, Mrs. Jaran. I'll now invite Mr. Vijay Raghunan Singh to continue with the distribution of certificates. Thank you very much, Mrs. Donna Lachman. So I, I now like to call upon Dr. Ramlau to aid with the distribution of certificates. Sarai Joseph. Katie Marie Kalawan. Shivan Lakan, Christian Lau, Ambika Lau, Anjali Lara. Nikash Lukwa Jasmine Makun Priya Mahabir Anandi Mahangu Thank you very much, Dr. Ramlau. And I'd now like to call upon Pandit Rambali to continue with the distribution of certificates. Before we continue, I want to ask the parents, I know you guys wanted to get your photos, but please be sensitive about the cameras. Uh, if you stand from the cameras, you'll be blocking the televised broadcast. Anjali Maharaj. Samir Maharaj Sanjeevan Maharaj Shriya Matadin Jadine Mahias, Jaden Morgan,
Zara Mutilal. Greg Unet. Danny Padarat. Varun Paul. Amani Pereira. Thank you, Pandit Rambali. I now would like to hand over to Mr. Amit Singh to continue with the distribution of the certificates. Mr. Singh. Thank you very much, Mr. Davijai. I would now like to call upon Mr. Shane Haricharan to continue with the distribution of certificates. Vijay Pasad, Brandon Punwasi, Omar Ragbir, Nayakaram Das. Hannah Ramdin, Anuj Ramuta, Rajendra Ramuta, Amita Rampol. Iran Rampasad Christian Rampasad Ranushka Rampasad Thank you very much Mr. Haricharan I would like to now call upon our principal, Mr. Jiwan Ramdani, to continue with the distribution of certificates. Santana Rampasad. Vidish Ramsaran. Ryan Sami Christiana Sitahal Aryan Singh Elijah Singh Ravin Singh Zara Singh Kelly Sukram Laura Lee Suchit Rishmi Tulsi Khadija Wana Thank you very much sir
Ladies and gentlemen, our graduation class 2023. I think we could do much better than that. Right at this point in time, I would like to extend an invitation to the talented musician, Mr. Kabish Maharaj, to take the stage and entertain us this evening. Let's give Mr. Kabish Maharaj a warm welcome and a round of applause. Sitaram everyone, good evening everyone. Sitaram? Come on, you could do better than that. Sitaram? Yes, yeah, Sitaram. So let's hear a round of applause for the gradients, please. Come on. So you know one thing that I notice when everybody clap for the gradients, the gradients don't clap for themselves. Do you know what you all achieved today? So give yourselves a round of applause. Come on, you did exceptionally well. So I show every teacher that came along, they would tell you that you did an exceptional job, but the work now begins. You hear that already, right? Yes, as you go higher, more work. So this song is dedicated to you all, and it's a very beautiful Bollywood song. If you know it, you can sing it. Are you all proud of yourselves today? Come on, nah, that doesn't sound like you're proud. You all proud of yourselves? Give yourself one more loud round of applause. Come on, well done, all right? So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kavish from Kavish the Band. It's a pleasure being here. This song is dedicated to all of your kids and parents. You did an exceptional job. And to the teachers, okay? You all can sing along. So usually I have my band with me tonight, but they're not here. I don't really perform solo, but for Tunapuna Hindu, I'll do it. And for Mr. Jiwan Ramdani, give him a round of applause for giving such a great speech. Be the exception for you guys tonight, all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No. मुझको इतना बता दे कोई कैसे तुझे से दिल ना लगा दे कोई रब ने तुझको बनाने में करती है हुस्न की काली ती जोरियां काजल की सियाई सीली की है तूने जाने कितनों के लव स्टोरिया के सरिया तेरा इश्क है पिया रंग जाऊं जो मैं हाथ लगाऊं दिन बीते सारे मेरी बिगड़ में रेन सारी तेरी खैर मनाऊं के सरिया तेरा इश्क है पिया रंग जाऊं जो मैं हाथ लगाऊं दिन बीते सारे मेरी विगर में रहन सारी तेरे खैर मनाऊं ये बदसर गारे गरे मारे 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 गरे पत चल गए मौसम भी है रंगी चरना नो जैसे जन के सिन तानों में तू वीना की तारों जैसे सदियों से भी लंबी ये मन की आमावसे और तू पल जावा वाले चुहारों जैसी चंदा भी दीवाने हैं तेरा चलती है तुझसे सारी चकुनिया काजल की सियाई से भी की है तूने 
जाने कितनों के लव स्टोरिया के सरिया तेरा इश्क है पिया रंग जाऊ जो मैं हाथ न जाऊ दिन बीते सारे मेरी फिक्र में Kavish for our rendition, truly a melodious song. Let's give him another round of applause, everybody. At this time, I would like to invite Miss Sharon Buru to the stage to take us through our second segment of Appreciation Awards. I'd like to call the principal, Mr. Ramdani, to do the presentation, please. It is my pleasure to invite Mrs. Seema and Dinesh Gopal to the stage, please. Mr. Seema Gopal has served as the secretary of the TPS for a number of years. She has always been quite efficient and diligent in her performance of all secretarial duties. Mr. Gopal has single-handedly managed our highway gate for a number of years. This was done with efficiency and pure dedication. Collectively, the Gopals are a pillar of our TPBS. They have both been actively involved in all of our activities from preparation to execution of all of our events. Together with the team, ensuring that the school is always ready and prepared for the next day of work. We are indeed grateful to have had parents like you at the Tunukuna Hindu School. Thank you very much for your service. I have the honor of asking Ms. Felicia and Derek Lal to the stage, please. Mr. and Mrs. Lars have always been available to contribute towards the upliftment of the Tunupuna Hindu School. Working with the TPBS since their son first came, first came in first year in funds, this power couple has always been dedicated to all activities and events hosted by the school. They have served the school with distinction for seven years. We truly wish that they have, we've had more parents like them at the Tunupuna Hindu School. I must also mention they are an integral part of our TPBS team and will go beyond what is expected from the washing, cooking, cleaning, shopping, even to the transportation at times. Best wishes and thank you. It is my esteemed privilege to invite on the stage Mr. Amarnath and Kavita Chauhan. Chauhan, sorry. Mr. Chauhan has been our president of our PTBS for the past six years. During his tenureship as president, we would have witnessed many significant improvements and great strides in the development of the physical infrastructure of our school. He would have led the PTBS with great dedication and always led by example in getting the job well done. Mr. Amarnath, as he's commonly known, has had 
has a very calm and cool demeanor, even in the most difficult times. He really worked well under pressure as we would have witnessed during our Diwali celebrations, movie night, barbecue cruise, and our many other ventures. We, we wish to really appreciate and thank both Mr. and Mrs. Chulhan as they would have, as we have known, without her, he would have not been able to do what he has done for the Tunapuna Hindu School. Mrs. Kavita Chulhan is a great organizer. She has always had a very positive attitude and a cheerful demeanor, which contributes to the success of all of our ventures at the TPBS and ultimately the benefit of our school, our students. I want to sum up, in, sum up this couple in saying, leadership in action is not position. We can confidently say that, these, that this couple is, follows action. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Sharon. It should be noted that there are many other parents who have served and continue to serve the PTSB and the Tunapuna Hindu School. We honored these parents, these individuals, this afternoon because they are leaving us this year. In every moment of one's life, there are always songs that will express how we feel. Today is one such moment. We turn our attention to the graduating class of 2023 for the presentation of their song on return. This song is about living life to the fullest. It tells us that each day is a blank page and children, it is up to you to fill it. This song conveys the idea of keeping our eyes open for all the possibilities in our life. I would like to ask our graduates to stand I would also like to request that all teachers come to the side of the stage. Let's welcome the graduating class of 2023 with their rendition of On Return. Just 
Thank you, students. Let's hear it for them one more time, everybody. Every year, special prizes are presented to the most deserving students in the field of academics, sports, and culture. I would like to invite Mr. Ravi Gopi and Mr. Dilip Maharaj to the podium to present these special awards to our graduates. Well, a pleasant sitaram once more. Students, smile. Because this part of the program deals with you, students getting a special award. So to each and everyone, I am Dalip Dinesh Maharaj, and I'm here together with... Mr. Ravi Gopi. And we at the Tunapuna Hindu School, we take great pride in showing appreciation to all our students as they continuously work hard and show commitment and effort in doing their best in all the spheres of life. Each term, we recognize our students who achieved and improved in a number of areas. Such recognition would have immense benefits on not only those who receive the awards, but also to those who are looking on. These include feeling more confident, bringing about validation of your hard work and efforts and motivating others in keeping that effort to keep on trying and keep on doing your best at all times so that you too can receive an award. At our graduation exercise this evening, we continue in acknowledging such students. We would like to recognize those SEA students who would have achieved in various areas of their education. But before we go on to recognize these students, I want to recognize some persons in your lives who have been very, very important. We always re we recognize, of course, our principal, our teachers, all your teachers. But can you tell me who is your first teacher that you ever had? Abhishek? Gosh, you lost. <laughs> yes, definitely your parents. And I would like all parents, please, here, and if they are grandparents, or whoever is representing these children to have to stand please your parents have been with you your whole lives they are your god they are your everything and they have sacrificed so much for you i would like you to give them a very very lusty round of applause for everything that they have given us given you Come on, you can do better than that. Show how much love that you have for your parents. And I can assure you that moving on to secondary school, they are going to be there even more for you. Right? So, are we moving on now to the actual awards? 
and um, this first award is going to be presented by Mr. Dilip Maharaj and it's for religion and culture. I now call on stage Rishmi Tulsi to receive this award. <laughs> Wonderful. Give her a round of applause. I call on Miss Omela Hital and this Hitlal, sorry. And this goes for religion and culture again to Miss Katie Marie Kilawan. Well done. I, I now call on um, Ms. Roshni Hussain. Sorry, Ms. Asha will present this award. This is the Roshni Award, Hussain Award for Religion and Culture. It goes to Srivasha Babulal. Huh? Okay, sorry, Ms. Neela is going to present this award to Srivasha for Religion and Culture. Give her a round of applause. Very good. Next, we move into the field of sports. The Tunapuna Hindu School Alan Ramdas Award for sports, we have Mr. Aaron Rampasad. Let's see a round of applause for Aaron. And Mr. Alan will be handing over this. Yes, we have another award, the Navad Alakraj Award for Sports, Joseph George. We have another award in the field of sports. I wonder who that would be. The Sasha Devnanan Award for Sports, we call on stage Mr. Vijay Pasar. Now, I want to tell you something about this young man, Vijay Pasar. He almost single-handedly won the competition for us this year. Give him a round of applause. He batted marvelously well and even bowled as well. All right, so I call on um, Mr. Mikhail to present this award. <coughs> this is for music, and it goes to to Anju Ramuta. Anuj, Anuj, sorry. Anuj Ramuta. Thank you. All right. Um, so I call on Miss Neela Jaglal, Miss Neela Jaglal to present this next award to the most disciplined student and it goes to Greg Udit All right I call on Mr Vijay Raghunan Singh to present a most disciplined award to Jadine Mejias on behalf of Ms. Kavita David, who unfortunately is not here with us.
Or Ms. Ningla, could you assist us? Ms. Ningla will pre present um, the Ms. Shoshana Brahmadat Award for Most Disciplined Student. And it goes to Shriya Matadin. Shriya Matadin. Congratulations. Now we move on to Most Helpful Student. The Sheetal Mohan Award for Most Helpful Student, Nikash Lukwa. The Mariah Ramnaris Award for Most Helpful Student, Sanjeevan Maharaj. And our third award for Most Helpful Student, the Shivani Baldeo Award, Most Helpful Student, Rikelme Francis. Okay, these awards go to the most improved students of each class. Um, first one will be presented by Karina, Mrs. Karina Mohan Maharaj award for most improved and it goes to Katie Marie Kilawan. I now call on Miss Savitri George Chung. The Miss Savitri George Award Chong Award for Most Improved goes to Zara Singh. I now call on Ms. Sunita Ramkisun. The Mesunita Ramkisun Award for Most Improved goes to Zara Motilal. Many congrats. Ms. Sunita, she remains on stage as we hand over this point in time. Excellence in Mathematics. The Kalini Bisram Award for Excellence in Mathematics, Standard 5, Varun Paul. Shortcut, the best way, but once you gain, you get to go. <laughs> The SC Tunapuna Hindu School Ravindra Pancho Award for Excellence in Language Arts in Standard 5, Christian Lal. Congratulations. This time we have the Ryan Ramkisun Award for Excellence in Creative Writing. Students, who do you think? The Ryan Ramkisun Award for Excellence in Creative Writing, Jasmine McCoon.
Now we come to the most outstanding students in class. I call on Mr. Vijay Raghunan Singh. The Vijay Raghunan Singh Award for most outstanding student in class goes to Omar Ragbir. I would like Mr. Vijay to remain, please. The Ms. Vindra Budu Das Award for Most Outstanding Student in Class goes to Joseph George. I now call on Ms. Sharon Budu. The Sharon Budu Award for Most Outstanding Student in Class goes to Aryan Singh. Very nice. I now call on Ms. Donna Lodgman. Ms. Donald Lutchman is going to present an award for the most outstanding student in class, and it goes to Arya Chulhan. I call on Ms. Bindi Ramcharan. Raj. Sharon, sorry. Right, the Miss Bindi Raj Charan Award for most outstanding student in class goes to none other than Kaylee Sukram. I call on Ms. Vitra Maharaj Singh. The most outstanding student in class, the, sorry, the Vitra Maharaj Singh Award for most outstanding student in class goes to none other than Cristiano Dukaran. Mr. Amit Singh. The Amit Singh Award for Most Outstanding Student in Class goes to Darian Bechu. I call on Ms. Sumitra, Sumitra Chedi Petier. The Ms. Sumitra Chedi Petier Award for Most Outstanding Student in Class goes to Shivan Lakhan. The S.C. E. Tunapuna Hindu School Ravi Gopi Award for Most Outstanding Student in Class, Rishmi Tulchi. The S.C. E. Tunapuna Hindu School, okay. The SC Tunapuna Hindu School Chiwan Ramdhani Award 
for most outstanding student in standard five goes to Aria Chulan. Our final award, special award to our graduating class, this is the Essi Tunapuna Hindu School Principals Award. It is given to the student who not just performed well in the standard five, but from the inception of their studies at the Tunapuna Hindu School, infants onwards not just the academics, but their involvement in all spheres of school life. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of inquisitive faces. Lal, thinking. The SC Tunapuna Hindu School Principals Award, and this is a challenge trophy, which you would hold for a year, Right, sir? It's kept in school? <laughs> kept in school. We keep in it in school because it has a lot of gold in it, right? The SC Tunapuna Hindu School Principals Award for Most Outstanding Student goes to Arya Chulhan. <laughs> many, many congratulations. Let's give these hardworking students another round of applause. Well done, students. This year, our Standard 5 boys took part in a block of cricket competition, performing exceptionally well, topping their group in the preliminary round and qualifying for the semi-finals, defeating some very tough teams. These cricketers were coached by one of our on-the-job trainees, Mr. Alan Ramdas. Let's give these boys a round of applause. We would like to recognize the efforts of these cricketers by presenting them with medals. As your names are called, please come on stage to receive your medals. I would like to ask Mr. Kandelwal to assist in the distribution of medals. Vijay Pasad, Iron Rampasad, Raquel Me Francis, Dani Pararat, Shivan Lakan, Santana Rampasad. Anuj Ramota, Joseph George, Abhishek Gopi, Elijah Singh, Jaden Morgan, Ryan Sami. Ravan Singh and Avinash Budram. Now I must say parents from looking at these boys play, we have a lot of potential. I can see some of these boys playing for our West Indies cricket team. I don't know if people still aspire to play for our West Indies cricket team, but I can see some of these boys playing for the CPL, and you never know, IPL. Let's give them a round of applause.
as they are receiving their medals, I would like to especially point out um, leading in runs, Vijay Pasad, Raquel May Francis, um, some of our wicket takers, leading wicket takers, Iran Rampasad, Dani Pararat, Shivan Lakan, Santana Rampasad. So please, once again, a lusty round of applause for these boys. Thank you, Mr. Carnelwal. I'd like to ask Miss Nikki to the podium. Young man. Thank you boys for an exceptional job well done the next item let's give them a round of applause it made Tunapuna Hindu school very proud the next item on this evening's proceedings is a very special one for our school our students participated in the Bal Vikas Ramayan quiz this year on May 18th and was successful in progressing onto the quiz's semi-final rounds for the first time. And I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> These students journeyed to the Endeavor Hindu School on June 1st, where they gave their utmost best performances and brought great honor to our school. Our students placed sixth out of 43 SDMS schools for the first time. Thank you students for working hard, so hard to keep our school at the top. We must express our gratitude to the leading teachers, Mrs. Karina Mohan Maharaj and Mrs. Omela Hitlal. Thank you for your commitment and dedication in guiding our students to this success. We look forward to taking home the Ramayan Trophy in 2024. Right, sir? With that being said, I would like to invite Ms. Omela Hitlal and Mrs. Karina Mohan Maharaj to distribute the awards to honor our students in Ramayan. Please give our students and teachers a lusty round of applause. I would like to call upon Cristiano Dukaran, Shavasha Babulal, Anandi Mangru, Jasmine Makun, Christian Lal, and Sanjeevan Maharaj. Ladies and gentlemen, our sixth place Ramayan students 2023. Thank you to the teachers and students. The valedictory address gives the students of the graduating class an opportunity to reflect on their seven years of primary school. As you know, Tunapuna Hindu School does everything in a unique style. We don't only have one valedictorian, but we have two. I'd like to ask Ms. Kaylee Sukram and Ms. Arya Cholhan to deliver the valedictory speech and to walk us through some of the most significant events in our, for our graduates. Please welcome them with a last round of applause. It's 
Sunesh Tota Maharaj, representatives from the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha and Ministry of Education, feature speaker, principal, teachers, parents, my graduating colleague, Sitaram, and good evening. My name is Kaylee Sakram. And my name is Arya Chilhan. And, and we are both honored to be chosen to be the valedictorians of the graduating class 2023 of the Tunapuna Hindu School. Arya, are you excited to be here graduating tonight? I can't believe that the day has finally come. It's so surreal. Well, today marks the end of one big chapter in our lives and the beginning of a brand new, exciting one. As we look back on our school years, it is important to acknowledge that we did not make it here alone. We owe a debt of gratitude to all those who guided us through our seven-year journey of the best primary school in the country, the Tunapuna Hindu School. First and foremost, we must give thanks to God for granting us life and good health to be able to reach this important juncture in our lives. To our first guru, our parents, we thank you for providing not only the basic necessities, such as food, clothing, and shelter, but also for transporting us to school every day, assisting us with our homework, taking care of us while we were sick, guiding and encouraging us, and most importantly, loving us throughout these formative years. To quote John Maxwell, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. To our dynamic, charismatic principal, Mr. Jeevan Ramdani, we are appreciative of your clarity of vision for the school and for ensuring that our school is always at the highest standard when it comes to academics, extracurricular activities, and infrastructure. Tunapuna Hindu School will always be remembered as the first primary school to have a swimming pool. We, we have, have the school with the pool. We, <laughs> we express our gratitude for actually taking the time to prepare us for our SEA examination by working with us on Sundays and for making us laugh and being the role model that we all aspire to be. A heartfelt thank you. So, at the Tunapuna Hindu School, we have the best teachers in the country. I have seen the amount of sacrifices the teachers have made in their personal lives in order to do the best for us, their students. To our dedicated teachers, you have educated us not only academically, but also emotionally and spiritually to be successful, productive citizens of our country. To our infant teachers, thank you for your patience. You were our substitute parents when we first entered the school. You took care of us and made learning fun and exciting. For these reasons, we will be forever grateful. The teachers of the junior department continued the process of guiding and molding us to be independent and tirelessly worked with us to take further steps in our education. Your efforts must be noted as you took us through an uncharted territory of transitioning to online schooling during the COVID-19 pandemic. We truly appreciate this. Special thanks must be made to our SCA teachers, Mr. Vijay Raghunan Singh, Mr. Amit Singh, and Mrs. Donna Lachman. Their dedication was truly admirable. We immensely value all the effort and energy spent in assisting us in our preparation for the SCA examination. We would not have made it without your love and encouragement. You have taught us to believe in ourselves and face our challenges with open arms. As we move on, we would like to share some exciting memories that will always stay with us for the rest of our lives. Imagine Kaylee when we are 90 years old, all wrinkly, with hardly any teeth left, rocking in our hammocks, we would always fondly remember our wonderful teachers. I mean, who can forget Miss Kalini's best milkshakes and comforting smile? Miss Lisa's wonderful Christmas presentations, which included elves and clowns, Ms. Sami, the disciplinarian, who also reminded us about the importance of prayers. Ms. Roshni and Mr. Dilip's beautiful songs rendered at all functions. Mr. Vijay, our in-house Santa Claus, and yes, we figured out it was you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Miss Sharon, who loves plants and would give us toys on almost every occasion. Miss Bindi, who allowed us to chat online at a time when we were missing our friends. And Miss Donna, who gave us motivational speeches, boosting our confidence in preparation for SE. Although we have mentioned the lighter side of our teachers, please do not misunderstand. When it comes to their work, they do not mix matters. Let's take our SEA teachers as an example. On one hand, they are kind, caring individuals who are passionate about teaching and learning, but do, do not, not, and we repeat, do, do not, not make the mistake of forgetting to do your homework, being disrespectful, or not putting in the required effort needed because suddenly the atmosphere changes. The great clouds make a sinister appearance. Lightning violently strikes and the thunder roars its appreciation. Our once calm, jolly teachers transform into horrifying creatures with bulging eyes, throbbing veins, steam-producing ears, and deafening voices. Trust me, do not want to mess with these creatures. <laughs> but after these episodes, in a blink of an eye, the clouds clear, sunlight pours in, and magically our teachers are back, motivating us and inspiring us to be our best. Truly fascinating. Thank, Thank you, teachers, teachers for, for supporting us and challenging us to be our best selves. Lastly, and most importantly, to the graduating class of 2023, the seven years spent at the Tunupuna Hindu School went by way too quickly. We had so many wonderful times together. We formed lasting friendships, played countless games of free tag, resolved conflicts, and learned many life lessons along the way. We lived, we laughed, we learned. We entered this great establishment as little shy individuals, and we are leaving as intelligent, independent, caring beings ready to realize our potential and make our mark upon the world. So in conclusion, my fellow graduates always do these three things. Be brave. Be grateful. Be unstoppable. Although it is the end of our primary school education, it is the beginning of the rest of our lives. But as we move on, let us promise fellow graduates to not forget the Tunapuna Hindu School and let us pledge our continued support for this formidable institution. We have been preparing for this new chapter for years now, and we have the skills, knowledge, and determination to succeed greatly. As our graduation song says, Today, today is where the book begins, the rest, the rest is still unwritten. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, young ladies. Thank you, young ladies. I must say, I enjoyed that speech slash conversation, and I'm sure everyone did as well. This is what Tunapuna Hindu School is all about. We set the precedent for others to follow. Let's hear it for all of our students as well as the Tunapuna Hindu School. At this point, we have special presentations to some of our deserving students. I would like to invite to the stage someone who is no stranger to the Tumnapuna Hindu School, someone who has dedicated her entire life to education and learning. I would like to invite Mrs. Shabira Kaulisa Balram to assist in these presentations. I would like to call these students on stage, Albida Ali, Jadine Mehias, Rishmi Tulshi and Greg Udit. Thank you, Ms. Jabira. <laughs> Mr. Sheen Haricharan was born on the 27th of May, 2003, and is currently 20 years old. He resides in Spring Village. 
Mr. Haricharan graduated from our very own Tunapuna Hindu School in 2015, where he attained admission to the Vishnu Boys Hindu College. He excelled every year during his secondary education, which led him to choose science as his major. He passed both the O-level and the A-level exams in these subjects. Mr. Haricharan won the I Meki Design and Build competition in 2019 with the help of his loving and encouraging parents. He was also a member of a robotics club and the Wii Club. He is currently pursuing his bachelor's in computer science at the University of the West Indies, thanks to his perseverance and dedication. His most notable achievement to date is being the recipient of an additional scholarship. It is an honor this evening to invite to the podium Mr. Shane Haricharan to deliver the feature address for our graduation ceremony. Let's welcome him, everybody. Sitaram, graduates, members of staff, parents, PTSB president, Mr. Chilhan, school manager, Mrs. Henny Charan, Ministry of Education representative, Dr. Ramlal, SDMS representative, Pandit Krishna Rambali, the principal, Mr. Jiwan Ramdani, and specially invited guests. I have been privileged to share a few words with you young graduates today in hopes of motivating and encouraging you to excel on your journey ahead. Firstly, my success was not possible without, without the help of God, my parents, and my family. We all can remember our first day at the Tunapuna Hindu Primary School. For me, it was the start of a fruitful voyage. As timid as I was at the time, my first year teacher, Ms. Sharon Budu, had beads and toys in her class, which she played with while work wasn't being taught. This small event encouraged bonding among my classmates and the start of friendships I have up until this day. But in secondary school, I only knew four boys and wondered how I was going to make friends. Luckily, everything fell into place. They called names during assembly to assign us to different classes. My name was called Last, and I sat alone at a single desk at the back of the class, whereas all the other desks were in pairs. One of the boys in front of me turned around and said hello. I said hello. The awkwardness soon saw us being the best of friends. Many of you may feel desirous or uneasy about your new school life. I can assure you that everything will fall into place. My parents always told me that as I progressed through standards 1 to 5, the work would get harder. However, I found a way to cope with it. Being that once I studied what was taught, it was easy to excel in my academics. It is really your mindset that limits your ability. Because if I told myself the work was difficult, I wouldn't have the same energy and effort towards studying. But school life should not only be going to school, studying, repeat. You need a break. A break for your mind and body to rest. You should adopt a hobby that can be done away from studying. View this as a form of relaxation for your brain that frees you from the stress the workload may induce. This is where an essential skill called time management is important to learn. Time management is where you allocate a certain amount of time towards doing different tasks. You will find this useful when you make time to study, do chores, and your hobby. You may feel like the days are longer because you are freeing up and finding time unknowingly. In your secondary school life, you will see its value when the exams and teaching methods are not the same for the many teachers you will have. Opportunities arise throughout our lives. Some we may take, some may slip past us. In standard two, I had the opportunity to play Ram in a short play for Ram Lila. I was elated because I always watched the big Ram Lila celebrations that took place in the savannah, and finally got to be part of a smaller one. It was fun since it did not involve academics, but also religiously rewarding, which furthered my understanding of my Hindu background. The Peppy Spelling Bee took place by the time I was in Standard 3. Teachers were looking for students to represent the school. A couple of teachers I remember spoke with my class teacher, Mrs. Chady Petty, 
and I heard my name called. I immediately looked over and they were looking at me. Shane, can you spell good? One of them asked. As bamboozled as I was, I replied, yes, miss. It was my first time attending an event, being a participant, seeing people I don't know. My anxiousness was at a high, but being focused on compose made me finish third place with three gallon tubs of ice cream, which my older brothers look forward to the most. This experience, has a po this experience had a positive impact on my secondary school life. Each day, a class would be responsible for hosting the school's assembly. So the confidence I finished the spelling bee with transferred to my public speaking in front of schools and audiences. But confidence is a strong quality of a leader. And in 2019, for the IMECI Build and Design Competition, I led my secondary school team to first place. What you should take from this is that opportunities are there to do anything, but you need to put yourself in a position to reap these opportunities and gain invaluable experience. For me, it was being a first class student throughout primary and secondary school that won me my many accolades. My years at both primary and secondary school exposed me to learning about different jobs, some of which I knew and some of which my friends introduced me to. I changed career paths multiple times as I wanted to be a dentist, chemical engineer, mechanical engineer, and even considered being a teacher. But now I am dedicated to the field of computer science. It is okay to change your career path. You will only know what you truly want to pursue when you are exposed to it. Nevertheless, you must remain open-minded so you will not choose the wrong path when the right one is one step away. Education is evolving just as technology. Traditional methods of teaching are being transformed by innovative tools and resources that enhance the learning experience. For me, it took some time to adapt to, but when I learned to use online resources productively, my learning experience was deemed far more effective. We now have a wealth of information at our fingertips, allowing us to explore diverse subjects and engage in self-directed learning. Whenever you are able, doing extra studies or learning a new skill will only help you later in life. My final two years at the Tunapuna Hindu School is where a change took place mentally. Maturity began. Having the same teacher for standard four and five reshaped my thinking to see the importance a teacher has in the life of a student. My teacher at the time, Pandit Sunesh Tota Maharaj, not only taught us every day, but mentored us to be successful students. We were pushed into understanding our mistakes academically and outside the classroom, which was embraced in secondary school where everything is not spoon-fed to you. You take on more responsibilities and challenges. Setbacks and obstacles are inevitable. A major one I faced was the results of the SE examinations. I opened my envelope and saw I did not pass my first choice school. I was disappointed. I didn't know what I was going to do. It was my first time with an outcome I was not prepared for. But with continuous support from my parents, I was no longer discouraged. They kept telling me that I just needed to work a little harder, and it was just in my mind. But with a planned and mature mindset, you can do anything, just as I did to win an additional scholarship. Don't give up. Everything you have learned from your seven years at primary school is now the foundation for your future. This is why your parents and teachers have pushed you to make it this far. Remember to set goals, which would act as achievements to boost your motivation and success. It is now up to you to keep progressing. So as you bid farewell to your primary school years and embark on new adventures, face the challenges with determination Embrace the opportunities with enthusiasm and always strive to be the best version of yourselves. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Haricharan, someone who is a positive role model for our young students and the epitome of intelligence. Let's give him another round of applause. At this point, I'd like to invite the talented musicians, Mrs. Asha Passad and Mr. Deodat Budram to take the stage. 
for a song. Let's extend a hearty welcome and a round of applause to Mrs. Asha Passad and Mr. Deodat Budram. As they make their way on stage, I'll give you a brief synopsis of who these people are. Uh, Mr. Budram started singing in the early 80s with the Diram Basad Indian Art Orchestra. He was also a finalist, Mastana Bahar. He has toured the world, I would say, performing in Canada, Guyana, United States of America, Holland. He is singing tonight with his cousin, Asha Passad, another talented, another talented singer. Tell me. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Budram and Mrs. Passad. Once again, another round of applause. Now, Mr. Budram actually heals from my hometown of Sangha Grandi. I uh, grew up listening to him sing as a young boy. Um, I remember him singing songs, Mr. Budram. You may remember songs like Darpan Kodika and Koi Jab Tumara. Those songs I grew up listening to you sing as a little boy. <laughs> yes, I'm calling these songs and these children looking at me like, what is Sir uh, talking about? <laughs> anyway, Mr. Bodram, big fan here. It is often said that behind every good man, there is an even better lady. We would like to present tokens of appreciation to these ladies for gracing us this afternoon with their presence and ensuring that their significant others are looking handsome this evening. I would like to ask Mr. Ravindra Panchu to assist with this first presentation, and I would like to call on stage Mrs. Tuta Maharaj, the Rampatni of Pandit Sunesh Tuta Maharaj. I would like to ask Mr. Amit to assist with this next presentation. And I would like to invite on stage Mrs. Rambali, Dharampatni of Pandit Krishna Rambali. Next presentation, I would like to ask our principal, Mr. Jiwan Ramdani, to assist and invite Mrs. Kandalwal to the stage. Mr. Vijay Ragunan Singh to assist with his next presentation and invite on stage Mrs. Ramnath. presentation I would like to ask Mr. Dilip Maharaj to assist and invite on stage Mrs. Ramdani, the Dharampatni of our principal, Mr. Jiwan Ramdani. ceremony this evening, entertainment was provided by a talented group of singers, dancers, and musicians. We'd like to also show our appreciation to these individuals. For our first presentation, I would like to ask Mrs. Neela Kumia to assist. And I would like to invite Mr. Shaheed Ali to the stage. Ms. Sheetal Mohan, I'd like to ask Ms. Sheetal Mohan to assist. And our next talk of appreciation will be for Mr. Kumar Sunarain.
Mr. Dilip Maharaj will assist with the next presentation. I would like to invite on stage Mrs. Asha Pasad. Ms. Sasha will present our next token and I would like to invite on stage Ashrika Basad. We haven't heard her sing as yet, she'll be singing for us shortly. like to invite Miss Nikki to the to the, the final presentation and invite Mr. Deodat Budram to the stage. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Continuing with these tokens of appreciation, we would like to acknowledge and thank the members of the head tables, and I'll ask the PTSB president, Mr. Chilhan, to come and collect a token of appreciation, and then I will ask Ms. Sunita Ramki soon to give you this token. now like to ask our school's manager, Mrs. Henny Charan, to collect a token of appreciation which will be given by Mr. Rabi Gopi. Thank you very much, Miss Henny Charan. I would now like to ask Pandit Rambali to join us to the front to collect a token of appreciation which will be distributed by Miss Bindi Raj Charan. Thank you, Pandit Rambali. School Supervisor 1, Dr. Adish Ramlal, and I will ask Ms. Karina Mohan Maharaj to present this token of appreciation. Thank you, Dr. Ramlal. And our final appreciation token, our feature speaker, Mr. Shane Hari Charan. And I will ask Ms. Shivani Baldew to give him this appreciation. Thank you, Mr. Hari Charan. I would like to call on Mr. Dilip Maharaj, who will deliver the vote of thanks. Please welcome him. A pleasant Sitaram once again. All protocols observed. Henry Emile, a Swiss moral philosopher, 
and the poet of the 1800s once said, and I quote, Thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude. Gratitude is a completion of thankfulness. It is with these lines that I base my vote of thanks to all those who have come together in so many ways, who have come together in so many roles and from so many places to make this graduation exercise at Tunapuna Hindu School a successful and memorable one for our students. Representative of the Ministry of Education, School Supervisor 1, Dr. Arish Ramlal, many, many thanks to you for your best wishes on to our students. Many thanks as well for your recognition of Tunapuna Hindu School from the perspective of the St. George East Educational District and also from the Ministry of Education. Thank you ever so much for your presence and, of course, your regular presence at the Tunapuna Hindu School. We do appreciate it. To our school manager, Mrs. Henry Charan, thank you. Thank you for taking the time out from your busy schedule to be with us today. Thank you for your words of advice to our students, and I know that they will take your words and blessings as they journey forth into secondary school. To our PTSB president, Mr. Amarna Chulhan, thank you, sir, for bringing best wishes to our students. We are indeed thankful to you for your wonderful leadership and to your team in working hard, hand in hand, with Tunapuna Hindu School in all our activities and fundraising activities. And as our principal stated, we know that you will continue to support us at Tunapuna Hindu. To the president of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Pandit Krishna Rambali, thank you, sir, for joining with us today. This a memorable day for our children. Pandit Rambali, you know, they said a retired principal of the Monroe Hindu School. Prior to that, of course, being a teacher. And if we listen carefully to his words, which was essentially to our students, some of them being students, and I trust you remember, the best days of your lives are spent where? Primary school. Choose the friends that you have wisely. And remember, your primary school teachers, even though you're going to secondary school, we are Tunapuna Hindu School. Our doors are open for you. If you have any problems, if you want to just come and talk and to reconnect, we welcome you with open arms. And that's what the primary school teachers are all about. We have been with you from morning till evening. In secondary school is a different story. But we want to let you know as you all leave, we are here for you. To our featured speaker, Mr. Shane Harichan, congratulations to you on your scholarship. And of course, thank you ever so much for being here as a youth and to share wonderful knowledge and experiences to our graduating class. And students, this young man is a wonderful inspiration to you to continue as you go into secondary school. He was a past student of Tunapuna Hindu. And he has certainly, you know, achieved. And we know that you are going to go into your secondary school and achieve. And who knows, maybe one of these days, you all will be the feature speaker in our next graduation. To our valedictorians, wow. I have to say wow. To Kelly Sukram and Arya Chulhan, our vote of thanks to you is a round of applause. Let's give them a round of applause. That was amazing. I would like to take this opportunity to wish you girls all the best and to channel your pathway into public speaking. You all are bra very brave and you have made Tunapuna Hindu School very, very proud today. Thank you ever so much. Special thank you to Mr. Achi Kandelwal. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and shukriya. You are indeed an inspiration to all. 
to all those within the community. And your mission, as we are seeing so vividly in adopting schools and giving back to the community. I do trust and hope to you, our graduating students, that young man there, he's a successful businessman and his journey is not in the business and home, but it is also making a difference in community. And what I would like to urge is for you all to follow in his footsteps that as you go forth in life, in your studies, in your job pursuits, one of the agendas in your weekly routine should be, what could I do to give back to society? And it is from individuals like these, if all of us follow these patterns, what a better Trinidad and Tobago we would be living in. To Pandit Sunish Tota Maharaj, thank you very much. We miss you terribly at Tunapuna Hindu, but you are our resident pundit and we are so glad that you are here to join with us in this memorable event for our students. And of course, as usual, the Tunapuna Hindu School Way, starting off our programs with beautiful sacred mantras. Thank you ever so much for being here with us. And of course, to your Dharampatni, thank you ever so much. To our many guest performers, Mr. Kavish Maharaj, Mr. Kumar Sivnarain, Mr. Asha Pasad, Mr. Dudnat Budram, and later on we'll be hearing Ashwika Pasad. Thank you all ever so much. It is indeed with music, with songs, that adds to the memories that we take on for years and years to come. So thank you for being part of this program. To our hardworking team of radio and TV Jaguati, Mr. Bimal Ramdani, Mr. Vivek Harbachan, Mr. Josh Diaz. Thank you guys ever so much. And I would like to let you all know, students, that a link was shared while the program was going on. So there is a YouTube link, and you can use this YouTube link to share with your friends and families throughout the world, okay? The program, if you all would like to see it, and I know you all want to see it, because you all were here watching this program. Right? You all will see yourselves. It will take place this Sunday at 11 a.m. on TV Jaguarty. Okay? To our parents who are here with us, parents of the graduating students, we would like to thank you from the depths of our heart for the hard work that you have been doing and for working side by side with the teachers, the SEA teachers, and the school as a whole in bringing these students to where they are today. Thank you ever so much, and we continue to go out there and spread the message of Tunapuna Hindu School as we continue to be the beacon along the East-West Corridor and North Trinidad. To our young, hardworking, and dynamic principal, to you, sir, on behalf of your staff, the graduating students, and the parents of the graduating students, we would like to say thank you. Dr. Ramlal SS1 stated that Mr. Jiwan Ramdani is a visionary. And we, the staff members, we nodded. We agreed 100%. Mr. Jiwan Ramdani, your principal, he is an individual who is a go-getter. He doesn't work 100%, he works 150%. And many times in many institutions, and I could vouch for that, he will work with a team and sometimes he works to assist, to ensure that whatever needs to be done, it is done. And he always reminds me of um, this proverb, when a work is once begun. You all know that? No, students? When, essentially, when you start a job or when you start anything in life, always keep in mind what I'm about to do. If I know that I am going to do it halfway, puhar, you know, with, with no effort, don't bother to do it. Because that in itself will be a reflection of you. 
But when you do something, do it to the best of your ability, and that will be a reflection of you. And that is Mr. Jivan Ramnani. Students, you all will be leaving to Napuna Hindu. You all will be leaving an educational institute that is like none other in Trinidad and Tobago. Let us give our principal a round of applause for his networking, for his hard work, commitment, and motivating the teachers at Tunapuna Hindu School and our students to be the best that we can be at all times. To the graduating management team, and that includes every single member of staff of the Tunapuna Hindu School. To our staff, our BOE, the OJTs, the ancillary staff, to our security, thank you for all coming together and working and making this event such a successful and magnificent one. Now, to our wonderful chairpersons, Mr. Ryan Ramkisun and Mr. Savitri George Chung, let's give them a round of applause. They did an outstanding job. Congratulations and thank you all so very much for carrying us through such a wonderful program. On that note, I would like to say thank you and I pass you back on to our chairpersons. Thank you, Mr. Dilip. I think we can all agree that a primary school graduation is indeed a bittersweet event. Students look forward to the future with eagerness and, and anticipation, but there is always that touch of sadness as they leave an institution they have attended for several years. Graduating class of 2023, I know that you will always cherish this evening in the years to come. I thank you all for being the most gracious audience. I would like to invite Pandit Sunesh Tota Maharaj to the podium to lead us in this evening's closing prayer. All stand. So as we conclude this evening, we put our hands together, we close our eyes. And I would dare yes, say, Miss, you didn't need to call me. I think our students are more than well capable. So together they will lead as we offer to Meva Mata, right? Just as we, I should say, shouldn't say we again, just as you would usually do every day. Hari Yum Twameva Mata Chapita Twameva Twami wa bandu chasaka twami wa twami wa vidya dravinam twami wa twami wa sarvam amadeva deva om shanti 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 hari hum we end in truth to napuna hindus dal Prem Sibole Sri Gajanan Swami Ki, yeah. Umapati Mahadev Ki, yeah. Siyavar Ram Chandra Ki, yeah. Pavan Sut Hanuman Ki, yeah. and of course the one you all love the most, Prem Sibole Sri Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki. Yeah. So we are going to have our recession at this point in time. Sabimau. So